I'm in the mood for some fish. So today I'm going to be smoking some honey lime glazed salmon out on the Weber kettle. So there are two things we need to get ready for this salmon before we even get to the salmon. The first is the honey lime glaze. And for that, we're starting with two tablespoons of honey. To this, we're gonna add three tablespoons of lime juice. We're also gonna add one teaspoon of cracked black pepper. And we're gonna mix this together. And you gotta start slow because you have a very thick ingredient, the honey, and a very thin ingredient, the lime juice. It's gonna take a while to get this mixed together. As it starts to mix, you speed up a bit. Let that honey and that lime juice come together. All right, that's what I'm looking for. We just want that lime juice thickened up a bit with that honey. All right, let's move on to the sauce, which is gonna finish our salmon once we bring it inside for tasting. So what we're gonna be making here is a citrus jalapeno sauce. Now, if you don't like jalapeno or anything that hot, you can totally just use mayonnaise instead of the jalapeno sauce. But what I'm starting with here are four tablespoons of a jalapeno sauce from Trader Joe's. Now this stuff tastes good on its own. You wouldn't have to add anything, but we want to get a little bit of that citrus flavor in this because we've got it in the glaze. So to this, we're adding one tablespoon of lemon juice and three tablespoons of lime juice. And we're gonna mix this together. And to this, I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of mayonnaise. If you want it thicker, you can add more. If you want it thinner, you don't have to add as much. And I'm gonna switch over to a whisk now. Get that mayo incorporated. And this is just gonna be sort of a little drizzle sauce at the end on top of our salmon. All right, that looks good. Let's move on to the salmon. All right, we're going basic today. This is about a one pound wild caught sockeye salmon filet, and we're just gonna get the glaze on it to start. I'm just gonna brush this on. It's gonna help give us a beautiful color on the outside. Nice taste. Be generous with the glaze. Get the ends. Then on top of this, we're gonna put some lime slices. Just like that, let's get it out to the Weber kettle. All right, the Weber kettle is at 321.5. We're gonna be shooting for a temperature right around 300 degrees today. So we'll dial it in with the vents once we get our salmon on. Now let's do that. So I have the Weber kettle set up today with one briquette basket pretty much full. I have some foil to catch drips and my ambient temperature probe. Let's get our salmon on. And when you place your filet on here, there's a thicker side and a thinner side. Just arrange it so your thicker side is closer to the briquettes. I'm gonna go ahead and get just a couple small little sticks of hickory on here. That's gonna be for our wood smoke today. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get our lid on, get smoking. We're gonna check this in about 15 minutes. My bottom vent is set in the two thirds open position and my top vent is about one half open. So as I said, we'll be checking this in about 15 minutes the internal temperature I like for my salmon is about 145 degrees. If we go a little beyond that, it's not gonna hurt anything. So we'll check this in about 15 minutes. All right, the kettle's running at about 311, you know, 10 or 15 degrees above what I want it to be, but that's all that oxygen flowed in there when we had the lid off. But we're coming up on 15 minutes, so let's give it a check. Just wanna get a little temperature reading right here in the center. Let's see how we're doing. We are at 109 degrees, so we're gonna go ahead and put the lid back on. Keep cooking. All right, we've been going about eight minutes or so. I wanna give it a check now. I'm just gonna go right back in about the same place I was before. Looks like we're at about 125, so we still have a few degrees to go, so we're gonna go about another 10 minutes. All right, we've been going about another 10 minutes here. Let's check our temp. Ah, uh, 149, that's okay. I told you if we overshot a few degrees, that is fine. All right, 
We're gonna get this off here, get it inside, and get some of that sauce on it and have a taste. All right, here is our honey lime glazed salmon. It looks really good and I'm getting a nice hit of that lime, both from the limes we sliced on top and what is in that glaze. So let's just cut into it here and see how we did. I'm just gonna go straight in the middle here. Now I didn't cook this for crispy skin or anything. I'm not a salmon skin guy. So I'm gonna be taking the meat off of this. Let's see here. Oh, nice and flaky. And I just wanna put a little bit of that sauce that we made on here. In fact, let me take this little piece that fell off and steal the taste. I'll tell you how it tastes in a minute. Just wanna get a little bit of our citrus jalapeno sauce on here. I don't know about you, but looking at this and smelling it, I know it's time to taste. Now I'm just gonna go right in here and fork myself a piece of this. Uh, again, if you like salmon skin that's crispy and everything, you're gonna wanna cook this slightly differently. You wanna cook that skin at a higher heat initially. You might even wanna put it directly over the coals, but I'm really about the meat from the salmon. That's the flavor that I like. Let's see how we did. Ooh, I've gotta say, there's a great flavor on the salmon from the glaze, but that citrus jalapeno sauce is killer. And I love flaky salmon. So for me, that 145 temperature is just about perfect. I know some people actually will take it to about 125, 130, they prefer it there. I just like it at this temperature. Some people like it even cooked more, 150, 155. This is it for me. I was so eager to dive into this, I even forgot I left my gloves on. Oh well, sorry. So the total cook time on this was just over half an hour, somewhere between 30 and 35 minutes. Do get a little bit of that hickory flavor, but that amount of time is not a lot to put a lot of smoke flavor in this. That's why when you're smoking salmon and doing a cold smoke, you're gonna get a much deeper flavor from the smoke. I just wanted to give a little bit of extra on here, plus we had all that moisture on the surface. Smoke loves moisture, all those particles adhere to it, so we did get a nice little hit of hickory. And with that sort of bite and a little bit of punch from that jalapeno, it is really nice to have the sweetness of that honey in the glaze. You know, they contrast well, and sometimes flavors that contrast actually complement each other, and they work really well with fish. So if you're a salmon fan like I am, the kettle is a perfect way to cook this. Give it some of that nice charcoal cooking time some smoke if you want to do that, have a good glaze on it, a nice sauce to finish it off, and you are gonna have a tasty, filling piece of fish. Is it wrong for one person to eat the whole filet? <laughs>